This video is sponsored by Value Testers. For a complete line of heating and HVAC testing equipment, biggest selection and best pricing on the internet, create a free login to see best pricing once logged in. Link in description below. Good morning guys, it is June 7, 2018. This one here I got a call for um, go check out an air conditioning system. I was there last year, it was a New York system. A guy had put in recently and uh, had a bad leak in there, and I couldn't I couldn't find the leak, so I think it might have been coming from the Schrader cores. So I put some caps on there, and uh, he's calling me back to double check. I told him to have the guy who put it in fix it, fix the problem. I mean, the system's not that old, so I'm gonna go back there and you know put the gauges on it and see. Uh, it's not that hot today. It's probably 65 out or something, but. He wants it. He wants it ready for the weekend. It's supposed to get hot. I'm going over there today, this Thursday, and uh, see what the condition of the, the, the Freon levels are. It was really low last year. I went there. I mean, it was really low. Like I said, I went around with my sniffer, you know, quickly, and I couldn't find anything. So can't be that big of a leak. Leak could be anywhere. It's not always easy to find leaks. But anyway, we'll give you some shots when I get there. Yeah, I've got to change this filter. I mean, it's dirty. A little dark though. I don't think there's any other light right there. He's got a couple of filters right here, so I'll put one of them in. Pull this out. filter in there. We had this system put in a couple of years ago. I don't know, we could run it and check the charge outside. I was here last year and I changed the filter. I was here last year and the thing was really low in the refrigerant and I couldn't find the leak. So I think it might be coming from the um, Trader Cores. And I put caps on it last year. I think that did it. I think that did the trick. This uh, York unit. Standing pressure. We're going to start it up and check it. It's a piece of York. It's not that warm in the house. I mean, it's it's not that warm. We're gonna check it anyway. It's not that warm outside here, but. A little chipmunk go right down that hole. <clears throat> yeah, so the wet bulb is about 65. It's about 60 out. So right around 15. So we're looking for it's a little low, not too much. I'll put a little bit. That should be above 100. So I'll put a little bit in there. Sub cooling's low. I'll give it a little douche. I bled my line back. I'll give it a little bit of gas. Put it in as a liquid. All right, guys. See, we're above 100 here on the suction, and uh, right around 15 on the superheat. Sub coolings okay. And uh, you got to be careful with these micro channels because they don't take a lot of refrigerant. It's a micro channel. You can see it it's like a radiator on a car. It's not a copper tube. It'll be alright. I mean, I didn't have to put much in it. Like I said, you gotta be careful you don't overfill them. I 
And that's it. We topped it off with a guy and we're good to go. Girls all clean. Good enough for this neighborhood. Those nice brass caps on there. Now I didn't put the system in. He had somebody put the system in, and he called me last year. That thing was pretty much out of gas. I put some gas in it and checked it. I couldn't find the leak. He called me back this year, and I mean it was down just a, just a chooch, not a lot. So it'll be good for another season. I told him to call the guy who put it in. Let him fix the flipping thing. Call the guy that put it in, let him fix it. It's a York. It's a pile of York. Change filter top off charge. I mean, I didn't put a lot in there. Maybe a quarter pound or something, not even. I mean, not a lot of gas. about half a pound put in there not a lot 